So guys, uh, I'm happy to say hello to you. So long time we didn't see each other. Uh, and uh, today we have the perfect uh, chance to, to talk with you about the product, about the, um, the plans uh, of the, our team uh, for the next steps uh, for the development product, for the marketing things and uh, our huge plans uh, for <coughs> doing uh, marketing of uh, our product for the next year and uh, many things uh, which uh, you are interested in uh, for the last time. So, uh, to, well, we will do our MS session uh, as usual, so I will answer on all, uh, absolutely all questions in the chat. But uh, as we have already done before, um, we will do uh, some brief answers on the the most general questions you have already put to our Telegram group and uh, our social networks because so I believe that uh, many people will look uh, this video after, not in live format and I believe they will be interested in to get the answer on these general questions. So, <coughs> seems that in general on the crypto market now is uh, uh, not the best time and uh, of course it's affected also to our project uh, to the token which we have on the market so of course because we are all working on the crypto market and we are all under uh, pressure and under all uh, situations we have on this market yeah so but let's jump to the general questions uh, you are mostly interested in for the past uh, two three months uh first and uh, quite common question about how we spend the funds uh, will we do uh, are we doing this uh, with uh, our um, schedule and uh, our uh, guidelines we have already posted in white paper and uh, about the quantity of funds so uh, I may admit here at this space uh, very simple thing so all the guys working uh, on the crypto market and of course we affect from the uh, crypto market and all issues we have on this. So about the 30 million, you just could do the simple uh, thing. Like you could go and see what is the price of Ethereum in the beginning and middle of February when we raised the most funds, uh, the most quantity of funds on our ICO. And what is the rate of the Ethereum in the end of March when we finished our ICO uh, and uh, made the issue the tokens and uh, take the money from the escrow. So you just simply could uh, calculate these uh, numbers and you understand that, uh, of course, we as a found, uh, as a founders of the project and all another ICOs up absolutely in the same position like you, uh, all users, which also hold some crypto, some tokens, uh, and etc. And et so we are also in the quite uh, difficult position because we absolutely uh, on the influence on the rate of the general cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum. But together with this, so we are managing this, we do the hedging and etc. And uh, for thanks to this, we are. Uh, uh, hiring very talented people. Uh, now the team of Play to Wife is more than 70 uh, people already. Uh, biggest part of them is uh, developers because uh, our product right now is uh, um, very difficult and um, contains from many parts which is uh, actually separate services. So let's say we have kind of four services in one. I will tell you a little bit more about this when we jump to the question about the uh, product. So about the product, so I begin actually to answer the second question. So what is the uh, stage of the product, so how we move on here and etc. So let me explain you our general strategy, how we uh, how we do, uh, what is our plan and probably why you didn't see some things which you expect to see, for example, this autumn. So, uh, this autumn, after we launched our bet public beta version on September, we did the many, let's say, marketing tests, uh, do the, uh, some experiments with the community, with the esports uh, tournaments and uh, many other things, just to understand 
um, what is the conversion rate of the users on our platforms, what we should add to the platform, what we should fix, and etc. And we have already have really good feedback. We understand what uh, actually we need to improve uh, and what we need to fix. And also, regarding the feedbacks we have already have from the community, we understand that uh, we um, we don't need uh, to do right now very big marketing push uh, on the market. And first, we need to deliver the additional functionalities which we have in roadmap. So uh, that's why we uh, don't do the big uh, esports tournaments and uh, don't do in, uh, the really huge acquisition of the streamers and etc. But with the that amount of people we have already have on the platform, we uh, built uh, quite uh, good uh, numbers. So. For now, for example, we have already have about 3 million uh, unique uh, viewers on the platform for the last period uh, of the beta testing. So it's a quite good results and um, we again we understand what is the strategy we should have for the next year uh, with uh, much more bigger um, which uh, much more bigger quantity of content and streamers, which we will have for on the platform soon. So, um, let me see uh, what is more questions we have. I mean, the general questions. Of course, uh, this is a question about the price of the token. So, as we many times uh, answered uh, here, so we couldn't speculate on any projections and promising about the price and etc. because the, our token have the utility function on the platform. Together with this, uh, I just may admit very simple thing. So, guys, look at the market for the last uh, three, four months. So, <coughs> of course, the market affects to all uh, projects and all tokens. And uh, so, we are uh, going step by step for all our um, promises and roadmap with the product so we are doing this with our professional team in the right way but even together with this so we couldn't do anything with the market so the market it is as it is and uh, we hope also that uh, market will recover soon and so from our side from uh, the side of our product team so we will uh, do uh, the biggest efforts to bring the final version of the product with uh, most of the features uh, we should have there and uh, we believe that uh, this uh, also will help. So <coughs> what else? Okay, about the roadmap. So as I promised, so we will talk uh, a little bit more about the current version of the product, uh, how we, uh, what is the advantages versus uh, current uh, uh, centralized streaming platforms we have, and what we will have on the track uh, in the nearest time. So for <coughs> for now, in uh, uh, we have mainly all general functions uh, which have for another streaming platforms like YouTube Gaming and Twitch. Uh, together with this we have our own blockchain, so and the tokens uh, inside the ecosystem uh, moving uh, and operating in our own blockchain, which is actually, I may admit, so we uh, didn't plan to do this, but we have already done this and uh, it uh, helps uh, us a lot. Second, so we operate with our payment gateway, so for now we add in more and more payments uh, uh, solution uh, to make uh, life more easy for our users and uh, of course it will help to uh, get more and more audience on the platform. So um, uh, three, so of course we have the streaming core, so this is a player, you could uh, watch the video in different qualities and etc. And of course uh, the streaming platform itself, so with the all functions we have. And of course, we have our unique feature, uh, which we name Interactive Task. So now it's working on Fortnite and coming soon for Dota 2. So any uh, viewer could send token, look token to 
absolutely different uh, variety of the tasks to the streamer, like do the, some quantity of kill during the period, find and uh, get some plays uh, in the fortnight and etc. And so you could easily uh, get these functions and test this uh, on any streams of Fortnite we have on the platform. And uh, <coughs> actually these uh, uh, functions we have already tested during our uh, beta testing on the d different uh, streamers and uh, many viewers. And we understand that uh, this functionality is very interesting for our users. So, we are planning to continue uh, test this on the bigger amount of users and in our plans for the first quarter bring additional functionality around uh, these interactive uh, tasks functions. That means, uh, for example, battle of the streamers. So, the idea is pretty much simple. So, you could donate uh, to the streamer to do some interactive task and the fans of the another streamer could do this um, to his favorite streamer and the streamer could do the battle and uh, the people from the fans uh, of one of the streamer and the fans of the second streamer will uh, donate uh, to both of them and they will participate to each other to do the task so who will do the bigger quantity of tasks in some time so he will win so we expect that uh, it will be very interesting uh, functionality and uh, it will have success on the platform for the current period of time, we plan to implement in very short time a chatbot, which helps uh, with common questions and uh, gives special notifications. Notification bar, we improve this. The panel, uh, one of the tools to report uh, on all users' extra, uh, actions uh, have made on the platform. Uh, and uh, we also uh, integrate some advertisement uh, engine to connect to the advertisement networks. And together with this, we will bring soon in first quarter our functionality with the revenue sharing for advertisement. So I believe uh, most of you know um, the project Brave browser and basic attention token. So the conception we have with the uh, revenue share for advertisement is uh, quite similar uh, to Brave browser and uh, basic attention token. Uh, that means that uh, we will have the revenue share with the viewer, streamer and the platform. But not only with the streamer and uh, the platform, like we could see on Twitch and YouTube gaming. So, uh, together with the peer-to-peer -peer CDN, we will add this wonderful possibility to the users, according to our uh, decentralized uh, unit economy. And viewers will have more possibility to earn tokens just by watching the streams, as we put uh, as our main original statement uh, in the white paper. So, uh, what else will be in the first quarter? So, achievement system. This is uh, uh, awards for watching content. I mean, for example, uh, you could watch uh, uh, you could watch uh, some quantity of time, and you will have the, some special status. Or, for example, you're a fan of the esports and you're watching only esports uh, broadcast, so you will have some another uh, special status, and uh, you could see this in interface and etc. To be quite cool system of gamification of the platform. So we believe that for our users it's uh, very important, and uh, we'll have success with this. Uh, internal parental control system. So this is a very important thing and we see the, that on market of uh, classical user-generated content we have quite big pressure from the government, uh, from many ways uh, about uh, the content and etc. So we should also change a little bit uh, our uh, roadmap, our timeline and uh, we will implement uh, all necessary features uh, around this. And soon, in first quarter, we plan to bring the marketplace. Uh, marketplace is a wonderful thing. We believe that it will boost uh, the interest uh, of the platform uh, quite a lot, uh, simply because uh, here in the marketplace you could buy uh, in-game items, some games and uh, some merchandise, even hardware. Uh, in the future uh, with uh, loot tokens. So uh, we expect that uh, all users and streamers on the platform uh, will um, 
will use this uh, quite a lot. Also, uh, many guys asking about why the price uh, drop after the buyback. So here I believe that we need to, to explain uh, simple things that of course price didn't drop after official buyback and I may admit also that uh, buyback uh, we did, we did not for the reason of the um, speculating or uh, improving the market but simply because we just need the additional tokens for the marketing purpose inside the uh, point live and we spend this to attract the new uh, streamers uh, some content and etc but the answer is uh, pretty much simply so after the buyback so we just could see that all crypto markets go uh, down uh, quite a lot so it's uh, just uh, the affecting of the market but of course not the this official buyback we did for the marketing purpose also uh, we meet uh, we face with uh, mm, whatever for, uh, the question about the tokens we paid as a price pool uh, mm, as a price pool for mm, for winners of the esports tournament so uh, some of you uh, um, afraid that it's effect also bet on the market because all these esports teams are immediately sell this token. So this is not true actually because uh, all these tokens uh, are always under lock up and we do this uh, lock up period and uh, they could sell only partially. So even they have the intention to sell immediately uh, these tokens, so they simply couldn't do this. So they must to. Uh, do this uh, <coughs> uh, in some period of time with very small amounts. So, from our side here, we have these uh, conditions for them, and uh, the esports teams uh, are, must follow in these conditions. Also, the another question: Why postponed listing uh, on top three exchanges? So. The answer is pretty much simply, so it's uh, also fully connected to the market conditions for now. So we believe that uh, even we will do this now, uh, it will um, it will not uh, help um, in so uh, big way how expected uh, our token holders. So we also with you uh, should wait uh, much more better conditions on the market uh, to do this so let's say like this so the market is uh, required uh, for now another action so that's why we are uh, postponing this uh, till uh, the next year so okay this is uh, all the main questions uh, we had uh, now i could jump to the chat and read some your special questions i well, I will choose some questions uh, randomly and uh, will answer, yeah? So why are you focusing on Russian market only? So the question is pretty much simply. Uh, so our team is uh, ex very experienced uh, on the Russian market. Second, the cost of the traffic, license and etc. for the uh, <coughs> market, different marketing experiments and etc. to uh, for user acquisition is also cheaper on this region, of course. Uh, for the next year, we we'll plan to do uh, in many regions. So it will be uh, a European Union, uh, Russian CS, Latin America, and USA, and probably some another region. So we are now uh, execute the market uh, conditions uh, and uh, some other things. Together with this, I may admit um, that, for example, for esports, we always do the uh, English version of broadcast and Russian. So. English version of broadcast uh, mainly cover uh, the European Union. So we are already actually working for European Union and Russia. But uh, again, the answer is pretty much simply we're not planning to always focusing on Russian market. So this is uh, only the first stage. So I could see many questions that repeat uh, repeated with the statement I have already done. So sorry guys, I will um, I will not. Uh, answer again on this question because I uh, have already done this and maybe updated roadmap so uh, yeah okay of course uh, for the first quarter I have already uh, uh, briefly introduced you what features will implement on the first quarter uh, 
So we, after the MR session, we put these uh, functions as a how to say the separate statement and uh, update uh, information on our social networks and etc. Of course. The white paper states 80% uh, burn rate from gross revenue at the platform. Is the numbers are still correct? And you currently burning tokens? Yeah, first of all, we have already done some uh, big uh, burn of the tokens. And uh, yes, uh, if the payments in loop tokens, yes, we are do doing the, the burning uh, of these tokens. Okay, we could see some technical question, but uh, so our our support team is uh, already answered on this. Hey, come on guys, it's not so big quantity of questions. Um, well, why? Last time we had much more questions in the chat. What is the next uh, feature you try to implement on Link? Uh, uh, trying to implement. So again, I have already introduced uh, our plan for updated roadmap for the next quarter. So uh, we will publish this information after this uh, AMA session will end. Uh, good question about the token burning. Is it updated live if burning uh, is happening or do we need to wait for CMC to update it? So actually this is the issue with the coin market cap uh, because they couldn't, we asked them to do this automatically because uh, we could do this automatically but uh, on their side it's simply impossible so they still do uh, these things manually so for example if some projects uh, burn in the tokens or change the quantity of tokens on the open market uh, you need to send the information to them, apply this information, prove this information, so it's a kind of the process. So we decided uh, from our side that we could, uh, that we will do quarterly. So we have some users, the users do some transactions, so we have some tokens to burn. And uh, quarterly we will send updated information uh, to the coin market cap, do all procedure according to the coin market cap, and then they will update the rate. Uh, the question is when beta test will end. So uh, we hope that we will finish this uh, in in the end of the first quarter together with uh, the functions I have already mentioned. But this is uh, the question we still didn't decide in the end. So. Uh, well, our expectation like this, but uh, we'll see, um, we will be in time to test uh, all rest of the things we wanted to do during the beta test or not. Vitaly is online since at least two months. In average, you have about 100, uh, 200 viewers. What are your plans to raise that number? So, uh, well, first of all, uh, I may admit that uh, I have already uh, uh, shared this number that for the last, for the whole period of beta testing, we have about three million unique uh, viewers uh, on the platform and about about ten million views, uh, which uh, generated uh, by these users. And uh, of course, we have we have already have much more bigger peak numbers, uh, peak CCU numbers uh, on the platform especially uh, when some stream, st star streamers uh, did the broadcast and uh, some esports events. Together with this, I have already explained that uh, we, of course, we could increase immediately these numbers, but the strategy and the right way of the strategy of the development of the project is not to bring so much uh, traffic license uh, and uh, marketing costs right now simply because we are in the process of the beta test and we need to add some additional features and then uh, bring much more uh, marketing costs and bring much more streamers license and etc etc and of course it will affect uh, 10, 20 uh, or even more uh, times uh, for the quantity of people on the stream. What about interactive tasks when you will launch in, uh, it full scale? So, uh, it's a good question. Uh, we should divide this question on two uh, different things. So, what uh, we uh, put as a statement for the full scale. If we are talking about uh, the technology itself, so we face with uh, some uh, technical problems, but all the technical, uh, not actually the, the problems, uh, some um, 
some technical solutions we should implement to our software to achieve the best results. Like, for example, we need to uh, touch um, the resolution. Uh, if this, for example, the widescreen and the interface uh, widescreen monitor, then we need to, to understand that interface also changing and our AI engine should uh, understand this. So many things uh, which we should uh, add and fix uh, inside. So we expect uh, to do this in the first quarter. From, from the other hand, the full scale, we could mean uh, that uh, the bigger quantity of games we should support. So here, as I said, right now we are supporting Fortnite. In the next quarter, we'll add Dota 2. And, well, for the next year, we plan to implement minimum uh, of 15 games. So it will be the main games, main competitor games and the most popular games. So we believe that uh, it will be enough to cover the general core of the audience. How we could see the work of the platform in three years? Oh, well, it's a good question actually. So we expect uh, that uh, we'll broadcast uh, some uh, big esports tournaments, tier one, of course. So we also expect that we'll broadcast some major uh, of Dota 2. And um, uh, of course, uh, for this time, we'll have big quantity of organic audience. Uh, because, um, of course, for the next year we will implement all features we have in the roadmap. But together with this, of course, we will add some additional features. Because, uh, as I have already shared the information with you, during the development process and during the beta test, when we have the real feedback from the streamers, from the viewers, and etc., we could uh, understand that we should add and or change some features. So, it's a kind of continuously process uh, when you could add some additional features and etc. So, uh, well, again, what I uh, could see in the three years that we have the stable esports content, uh, including tier one content, and big quantity of organic uh, audience, which uh, uh, use uh, our wonderful possibility to um, immediately earn money. And what is the most important, after we add all features for the uh, revenue sharing and uh, earning of loop tokens for the viewers, it will be much for easy for streamers and big motivation for them to invite the viewers uh, to the streams. Simply because they could do the very simple offer, like, hey guys, you could watch my stream on Twitch or on YouTube Gaming, okay? Or you could come and watch the same stream on Play Life, but you will earn some tokens for this. Just watching the stream because you will have the revenue share from advertisement and you will uh, do the um, earnings from peer-to-peer uh, -peer CDM. So I believe that uh, any viewer will choose the second variant. So now we are working to implement uh, all these uh, features on the platform. Yeah, the question, the good question about the retention. So actually, I have already answered uh, on these questions. First, the target to bring all functions, then we will bring more marketing and uh, all our functions, motivation program, gamification, etc. will help to keep retention on the good rates. Do you know about uh, Security Exchange Commission and actions against ACOs that took money from USA citizens? Yes, we know, but um, uh, Point Life uh, didn't uh, take any money from the USA citizens and uh, Singapore citizens. So, and uh, our ICO regulated by Maltese laws. About the marketplace, what kind of merchandise are we talking about? Uh, T-shirt, cap, or some other cool stuff? Yes, so uh, of course it will not the question about so immediately, but uh, during the uh, next half year we plan to bring the, some hardware, some uh, in-game items, uh, subscriptions and uh, some in-game in -game things, yeah. Uh, and yes, of course, some merchandise like the esports t-shirts, uh, caps, uh, branded uh, branded caps, and etc. etc. Have you ever met Twitch guys and what they think about PTL? Yes, of course, our marketing team and me meet some Twitch guys. So, well, I don't know. I couldn't comment this or not, but I could say the general things uh, like. They honestly sharing that we have quite fresh conception. So, for example, Twitch couldn't even they like it, 
as a private person, not as a Twitch employee or someone, but uh, they agreed that it's quite fresh conception. And Twitch is a, even uh, like the conception, they couldn't uh, implement uh, so big quantity of fresh things uh, inside uh, their company because it's a very big company. Do you have any plans to attend some biggest gaming events and tournaments? Uh, do you have any plans to, to host your own tournament? So actually we have already attained uh, the biggest event in Russian CIS, uh, the name is the Igromir. So we had the uh, booth together with our partners and uh, we did many broadcasts uh, from this, uh, from this uh, exhibition. Uh, for the next year, yes, uh, of course, we also have uh, strong plans to participate in some big uh, gaming events. For the tournaments, uh, we have our content plan uh, to, um, um, to have the content on some of them on the exclusive basis, some of them are on the non-exclusive basis, which means that you could watch this on the different platforms. And yes, our own tournament uh, under the brand Crypto Masters, yes, also we have a plan and uh, now we are in discussion with the uh, esports, uh, tier 1 esports tournament uh, operator, how to handle this in the next year. What do you think about this? 97% uh, uh, ISOs already gone, what about P2L? Well, the answer is very simply, we are here guys. We are with you and uh, we are continuing uh, to work on under the project, so I think uh, this is our question. Uh, this is our answer on this question. How you could see the future of the cryptocurrency in general in the next year? Well, um, uh, I couldn't share the details, but uh, so it's uh, just my per personal opinion because I had uh, many of course many contacts uh, around here and uh, understand some inside things uh, which happen in terms of market. I believe that uh, next year, uh, not the beginning of, certain, of the next year, but let's say, I don't know, from the middle of the year or in the end of the year, it will be next rally. I mean that uh, the rate of the cryptocurrencies will begin uh, again uh, grow quite a lot. But we should be all very patient, have the big patience uh, about this because, of course, right now it's a not the uh, not the good time. How to earn with P2L right now for streamer? Uh, well, uh, if you are a tier one streamer, during the beta test we are doing the um, let's say B2P deals uh, with the famous streamers. You could write to our support and uh, we will review the possibility. But in general, so you will have the uh, revenue share from advertisement, revenue share from subscription. If you are doing interactive tasks, you will have revenue share from this interactive task. Uh, and for now, uh, this is pretty much uh, all. Yeah, but uh, beginning the uh, first quarter, when we implement all features I have already mentioned, uh, so of course it will be much more bigger quantity of uh, revenue share with the streamer. And again, just to how to say to explain uh, uh, our main idea about the marketing strategy. Uh, first of all, we wanted to focus on the development of the product and add all these features uh, to the platform. So after this, we could do the some big marketing push uh, to show to the all viewers, streamers, and etc. These wonderful possibilities and much more big quantity of revenue streams that could be shared with the streamer on our platform versus uh, another uh, existing streaming platform. Uh, the next question is, uh, will it uh, MSS uh, um, session with another uh, guys from the company like CTO, CMO, uh, product director? So guys, actually this is a nice idea. So actually we have already done uh, Amasesia with uh, our CTO and uh, even we have already done the joint uh, uh, MS session uh, together with CTO. But you could uh, send uh, your wishes in our Telegram group. So uh, with whom exactly you wanted to, to talk? Uh, I don't know, with uh, marketing guy or with a product director and uh, well why not we could uh, bring uh, our stuff and uh, we'll answer on this question so just let's let's do simple voting 
who, whom exactly you wanted to see on the next summer session. Then we will do this. Any major announcements in the nearest future? Uh, yes, we're going to do some really uh, big announcement. It will be in the first quarter of the next year. Interesting question. Does Peter have still enough money for the next years? Uh, yes, we are. Okay, next question. Uh, will it uh, uh, redesign of uh, P2L? Uh, actually, yeah, we're planning to do this. So I think this is quite the fresh uh, news, uh, but it will not be in the first quarter. Uh, but yes, we're planning to do this. Uh, don't you want to participate in some discussions in Telegram channels? So actually guys, I read the Telegram channels, uh, but uh, together with this, uh, the majority quantity of the questions uh, was answered by our team. So uh, we are doing such AMA sessions with me and we could do this with uh, another um, part of the team uh, to answer in more details on some difficult questions but the general information so we have already answered it uh, on the telegram groups we will plan to do uh, for the users some levels uh, and rewarding for this activity yes exactly so when i am talking about the gamification system in the platform this is exactly uh, what we plan to do so uh, you will do some activity you get rewards and it's not means that you always be rewarded with the loop tokens but you also could be rewarded with some status on the platform with some additional features which you uh, unhide versus the other users which uh, don't uh, do so much activities on the platform and etc etc so yeah exactly we will have very advanced uh, gamification system inside uh, the play to wave and of course we'll implement this step by step so it's uh, again quite uh, difficult uh, uh, development uh, cycle and uh, that's why so we'll implement this step by step uh, are you going to add p2l2 and link removed ah restream.io ah uh, yeah actually we know the guys of the, from the restream.io yes uh, we our marketing team will talk uh, with them soon yes so from our side we will be happy to do this and streamlabs uh, obs software uh, yes also we in touch this it's uh, not the um, it's not a quick question, but yeah, we are working on this. So, uh, okay guys, uh, I think uh, I answered on the main, uh, the main questions. Uh, also, jump to much more deep details uh, uh, via your questions in the chat. So, it was a nice idea to have the AMA session with uh, some other guys from our team. So again, in Telegram channels, you could send the, your wishes. So who it should be, the product director, senior CTO again. And uh, well, we could do this uh, quite soon for you. So thank you guys.